Yeah, started through pins, and then I saw on TV they were showing Atlanta Olympics. Everybody was trading pins, and I said, I gotta go, and I just took off with no place to stay or anything. I went to Atlanta, and I set up a little table, and I make little name on rice necklaces from Venice Beach, and I would trade with all the athletes. I would give them a necklace, and they'd give me a pin. So I got all the pins, and I got to meet all the athletes. And in those days, it wasn't high security like now. Now you can't even get near the athlete village. So I was just meeting all the athletes and getting pictures, and it was so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, well, this Olympics is the most I ever spent on any Olympics because I wanted to be in Paris. I was determined that I wanted to see the Olympics in Paris, one of my favorite cities. And I spent uh, over $10,000 to get here. And I, I almost maxed out all my credit cards. And I worked two jobs. I had one in the morning at the beach, and then I had one at night bagging groceries. And I kept saving and saving and buying tickets little by little. Ended up with 38 tickets to the games. I kind of overdid it, but <laughs> I'm having a good time seeing all the games. But it was hard to save up, and it's a big budget. But it's a thousand times worth it. I was in Beijing. I didn't have the money to go. <laughs> I wanted to go to Beijing. Okay. I had my visa. So I can get the solo. Anyone you want. Thank you. Here. Just forget it. Thank you. Take it off for you. Okay. Thank you. Meeting you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Oh, that looks cute. Huh? That is a cute one. Yes. With really the nice. Lipstick. I love Sam. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye bye. I have the same one like you. Oh, wow, we do. It just makes me feel so honored and appreciated, and people just get a kick out of my outfit. They always want to take pictures. And I just like to stop and make everybody happy if I can. As long as they're smiling, I'm happy. <laughs> See? <laughs> It is a little bit overwhelming. I can't really get anywhere because everybody stops me for pictures. It takes a long time to get to the venues, but it's okay. <laughs> see that? Pictures never stop. Okay, now see if you like any of my pins. I don't mind whenever you're willing to try. No, any, any of these here. Santa? Is that okay? Oh, that's okay. Anyone is okay for you. <laughs> yeah. Sure, there you go. Thank you so much. Have oh, a great day. Yeah. When I started collecting pins in 84, that was called Sam the Eagle. That was the mascot in those days. See, 1984. Look at that. Sam the Eagle. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Once one Olympic is over, then I start planning for the next one. So everything's going to come off. I got to uncut everything off and start all over again for LA Olympics. I guess I'm going to be having the American flag everywhere from head to toe. <laughs> Countries I went to for the Olympics, France, USA, Atlanta and LA, Rio and Brazil, London, England, and Athens and Greece, and Sydney and Australia. Reading pins, which we're gonna have LA 28 Olympics, that one is in the future. <laughs> but then I have all the Paris ones, Atlanta, and of course, you know, I have to have the Disney pins. And I have a Rio Olympics. Oh, I'm gonna do it forever. I'm gonna save all my money and just concentrate on Olympics. <laughs>